In this tutorial, we'll be covering how to make your video what's called broadcast safe or compliant with broadcast standards. If you're working on a job that is destined for broadcast, then this is a special consideration. So let's jump right in and I'll share with you a couple techniques to assure compliance. The two compliances that we're mostly concerned with are luma levels and chroma levels. We can either actively manage them while grading or fall back on a couple fail-safe techniques that I'll show you. With regard to the exposure, the range for legal video levels falls between 0 and 100 IRE. In the first example, we have a common problem where portions of the image have gone into illegal broadcast levels by exceeding 100 IRE and falling under 0 IRE. So typically what I like to do is to just make a subtle highlights adjustment to back off the trace a little bit from 100 IRE. I'll do this with the highlights control in the color wheels in Lumetri. And then increase the shadows above zero with the shadows control. And that's it. Now as far as chroma is concerned, notice the two sets of square markers for the vectors of red, magenta, blue, cyan, green, and yellow. With the outer boxes, if you were to draw an imaginary line from the middle of one box to the next, to the next, and so on, any chroma levels that go outside of that line would not be safe for broadcast. As long as you're inside that line, your levels are fine. The inner boxes represent 75% of legal chroma values and serve as a kind of warning zone as you approach high chroma. On this next shot, you can see that the red trace, representing the bright red door, is exceeding legal limits. What I typically do in this case is a quick secondaries correction to fix it. In curves, I can go to the Hoover saturation curve, isolate the red range creating points, and then drag the middle point down until the red is inside the imaginary line connecting the outer boxes. It's as easy as that. Now that we've covered actively managing compliance during our grade, let me show you a couple fail-safe ways to make sure your luma and chroma levels are legal. On this next shot, you can again see the highlights exceed 100 IRE. To have Premiere manage your compliance, let's go to the effects panel. I'll hover over the project panel and hit the tilde key on the keyboard to make it full screen. Then go to the effects panel, and in the search box enter video limiter. We'll be using the new video limiter introduced in Premiere 2018. As I explained in a previous tutorial, there are some effects that Adobe calls obsolete. The old version of the video limiter effect, now called Video Limiter Legacy, is in the obsolete folder for backwards compatibility. But let's stick to the new version. Now let's hit the tilde key again and drag that filter onto the third clip. Right away, you'll see a change in the waveform. By default, the video limiter is set to clip level 103 IRE, meaning that it will clip or cut the part of the trace that exceeds 103 IRE. If we're working with a broadcaster using the SMPTE standards, we can change the clip level to 100 IRE. If you're working with the European Broadcaster Union, you can use 105. Then we have the compression before clipping option. This will compress or pull down the luma and saturation levels that are close to clipping. Additionally, you can check the gamut warning to identify which areas of the image are too bright or overly saturated. And you can change the color of the gamut warning. Once we're happy with the setting, we can save them as a preset. Let's right click on the limiter in the effect controls and select save preset. Let's name the preset broadcast safe. If you open the presets folder in effects, you'll see our new preset. We'll use this effect in the next step. Let's say you want to assure broadcast compliance for your entire timeline. Well, you could add broadcast safe filters to all of your clips individually, but there is a better way. I'll use the mouse wheel to scroll back to the project window. Then I'll right click and go to new item and click adjustment layer. Then I'll say okay. I'll drag it on top of my timeline and then extend it so it covers all of the clips. Then I'll scroll to the effects panel and drop the broadcast safe preset we just created directly onto the adjustment layer. All done. Now one last thing to note, in all of these examples, I've been using the 8-bit scopes with the clamp signal checkbox turned off. If you check the box on to clamp the signal, it will clamp the luma levels, but not the chroma. This will also bake this luma clamp into any exports that you do. So if you're not concerned with limiting chroma, this may be a good and quick way to make sure your exposure values are in compliance. So let me just review. We can actively manage compliance during the grade by using the exposure controls to reduce the highlights if they exceed 100 IRE or add a little to the shadows if they fall below zero. 
if we have illegal chroma levels, we can quickly fix that with the hue saturation curve. And if you want to make sure that the entire timeline is in compliance, you can use an adjustment layer to quickly apply a video limiter to the entire project or use the clamp signal checkbox to limit just your luma. Well, I hope this tutorial was helpful and that you get an opportunity to grade a really sweet TV spot.